Are you excited for me to talk about all of the books? Not all of the books, but five books, actually. Close enough. Books 16 through 20 are the books that I'm going to be talking about today. Fun times. Let's get started. Book 16 that I read is Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk. I read this book because Adrian and Dalton from Strip Coverlet said I should. So I did. And here we are. Fight Club is about a man who meets another man that makes soap for a living. They decide together to create a fight club to fight. Great job with the synopsis, Erica. That's not actually what this book is about. But that's what I'm going to tell you because you should go into this book blindly. I feel that you get most out of this book if you go into it blindly. That's all I knew about this book. I had never seen the movie before this. This book was wonderful and great in the worst and best way possible. It makes you question anything and everything in your life and makes you want to just go out there and really live because you're not really doing it. And it did that in such a dark, funny, satirical way. After reading this, I came to the realization that I am in love with Polonik's writing. How does he do it? How does he write in this way? The characters in this book are insane. <laughs> literally. Tyler is a character that I don't think I will ever forget because of the impact he really has on you. So I love this book, but I do have a problem. That's the ending. Eh, I don't know. Not a fan. This happened to me with Lullaby 2. I did not like the ending of Lullaby, and this ending just felt so anticlimactic to me. It, it should have ended with a bang if you know what I mean. But besides that, I really liked it, and after I read this, I watched the movie, and uh, huh. Okay, here's the thing. I have a love-hate relationship with the David Fincher films. It was a good movie, but it wasn't like my favorite or anything. After reading that book, you would think I would want to read something light, maybe happy, but no, I didn't do that. Instead, I read uh, Moby Dick by Herman Melville. Why'd I do that? I don't know, but I don't regret it at all because this Holy crap. You could tell me as much as you want that you hate this book, but you're wrong. You're so completely wrong. Leave. This book made me laugh, it made me cry, it made me mad, it made me happy, it made me want to throw it at the wall, it made me- it just so many emotions were felt while reading this book. And I just- I personally don't see why it gets so much hate. Yes, this book is incredibly long. Yes, there are chapters fully dedicated to the knowledge of whaling. And those were actually my favorite parts of the novel. So it makes me sad that a lot of people don't like that. But I mean, that's something that I find fascinating, so. I really loved all of the characters in this novel. To me, they each represented different things a bit. With that being said, the biggest character in this book, which is the whale, represented so many things. He was not only a whale, he was God, he was anger, he was happiness, he was revenge, he was lust and greed and money and anything and everything. That's what this whale represented in this book. Whaling is a big part of this novel and you would think I would know that going into this, but I didn't really think about that. I did not know much about this story beforehand. Reading about them killing whales and everything that they did was just uh, so aggravating and made me angry. And so saying that, I was rooting for the whale the whole time, and not for the characters. I didn't want the captain to get his revenge. I wanted the whale to kill everyone, because they made me very mad. The last thing I want to say about this book is that I really loved the writing. The writing was beautiful, it was very easy to read. I thought this book was going to take me a long time to get through, but it didn't at all. So you should all read this book if you have not. Do it. After reading that giant novel, you would think, again, I would want to read something light, entertaining, but no, no. Why do that when you could read Haunted by Chuck Palahniuk? This book is about a group of writers who go on a writer's retreat. They are each told to abandon their life for three months. They're going to be able to get away from all of life's distractions and that they will get to immerse themselves into writing and write the masterpiece that is in them. Things are not as they seem. Obviously, things may take a turn for the worst. Probably. This book is told in the format of short stories that may or may not uh, connect and intertwine by the end, but I won't tell you because spoilers. I don't think I've ever been so angry at a book before. I threw this book at the wall after reading one short story. I wasn't angry because it's a bad book. It's not a bad book. I was just angry at the sheer fact of how terrible these characters are. And they're not terrible in the fact that they're written bad, because they're not. They're just terrible people. At their core, they're the most messed up people I have probably ever read about. During the days that I was reading this, I found myself to be very negative and just 
not not seeing things on the bright side. I really like the ending to this book. I thought it was dark and twisted. I didn't see it coming and it just wrapped together perfectly. So I really like that. So now you'd think, okay, Erica, you have to read something light and entertaining because you just, you just read so much darkness. Like you have to. Um, I decided after that to read The Walking Dead the first volume. This book took me a lot longer to read than I thought it would, which was surprising. I haven't read a lot of graphic novels, so I don't think I could really tell you, you know, this is great or this is bad because I don't have a lot of experience with the graphic novel stuff. I found this book to be very entertaining, very fast paced, very much so zombie driven. Zombies are cool, so I liked it. It's just that I found this book to be very melodramatic. I found myself to be very annoyed with most of the characters. And if a zombie killed them, I probably didn't care because I didn't like them. I think it mainly has to do with the dialogue in this book. The dialogue was cringeworthy in some parts. But I mean, I don't know. I, as a whole, I did enjoy this and I will read the second bind up. Um, I think my boss is going to let me borrow his second bind up, so I'll read it. The last book that I'm going to be talking about that I read is The Mechanical by Ian Tregulis. I, sorry if I butchered that. This book is the first book in a series, I want to say, and it's a sci-fi novel that takes place mid-1800s to mid-1900s, centering on artificial intelligence created by alchemy, and I thought that was a really neat twist that I haven't read about before. It honestly reminded me of the film I, Robot. If you were to take that film and throw that film into the 18-1900s, you would sort of have this book in a way. This book was actually a lot different than I thought it was going to be. It delves heavily into religion and talks about how these mechanicals, that's what they're called in this novel, if they have souls, if they have thoughts, you know, their feelings and all of that. This society is told that they don't have any of those things, but the main character in this book who is a mechanical would have you think otherwise. I found this book to be very fun, very action-packed, and as a whole just a great time, but I did find the character development to be a bit lacking at least for the first half of the book and then towards the end we get a little bit more out of these characters and then I started to actually care for them. I think the ending of this book did a good job to set up the things that would take place in the second book, which I do not have the second book but I want the second book. And overall I really like this. If you like sci-fi, if you like robots, anything of that sort, you would like this. And those are books 16 through 20 that I have read recently. If you guys have read any of these books, leave your thoughts and opinions down below. We could chit chat, yada yada yada, all that stuff. And that's all I really have to say for this video. So I'm gonna go before I ramble on forever and ever, which I'm doing right now, rambling. That's what I'm doing. I shouldn't be saying anything more. I need to go. Okay, goodbye guys.